Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In today's video, we are going to see how to activate or renew your Deep Security Manager license. There are two ways to activate or renew your Deep Security Manager and I'll be going to clear this both scenario for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, one small intro video. Friends, very first open Deep Security Manager console. So mine is Deep Security Manager. Click on that. Let me log in here. Default username is Master Admin. If you have any custom, you can use that. Enter. Oh, my spelling mistake. Enter. Perfect. Once you logged in, click on the administration. Under administration, click on the license tab in the left side. Now if you check out here under the licensing, I don't have any license activated in my server. But friends, if you directly install any deep security agent in your environment by default without license, it will start 30 days of trial period. So it's up to you if you are doing UAT or kind of learning or testing, then you are good to go ahead without license key. But since I'm teaching you guys. I'm going to enter the license key now. So how you can do that? You can simply click on here, which is enter new activation code or any of this option. But I prefer to click on this enter new activation code. When I click on this enter new activation code here, it's uh, open one new wizard where I can directly enter my activation key in this particular column. If you have multiple licensing model, then you can directly enter key to this primary section which is single activation code for multiple protection module and if in case you have purchased only anti malware license or uh, integrity monitoring log inspection firewall or deep security scanner then you have to enter those key according to the your protection model but i have one single key for all model so we can enter that key here additionally if you want to manage all your license key in a single console for all your train micro servers then here is one more option that is register online. When you click on that particular link, it will open one URL with a clp.trainmicro.com. If you already have an account, you can directly go ahead with this option. If you are new, then click on second option. And at the very first time you are going to create the account, it will ask you for the server licensing key. The key is same which you are going to enter here. So many guys are preferred to log, uh, activate license using this console. So we'll demonstrate this thing later. So let me minimize this for now. I will enter our licensing key here. I have copied my license key and let's go. You don't have to paste li your license key on individual box. You can directly copy all your license key and paste into the very first box. And it will automatically process your license key to all these box which is available. Once you are done. Then click on next validation activation coupon perfect guys as you can see my license is activated now it says click finish to activate and it also gives the information by when your license is going to expire now click on finish you add the activation code where applied successfully now click on close Congratulations guys, your license has been successfully updated. Now here one more tab is appear that is update information. When you click on this, it's always check for the license details. Which means earlier uh, scenario where I shown that when you click your license online using the one of the URL, if you update any license key or any data at that portal, then you can simply update all the information just by clicking update information. Now let's go to that portal. Here it is. Now let me enter the same license key here. Perfect. Now click on continue. Okay. It's now showing all the details like what is the activation code, num total number of seats of which I have license, expiration date and license type. Once you go through with all the details, select this box and click on continue. Here it says whether you are partner, reseller or customer. So right now I'm going clicking on no. Now let's enter the company information here. Once you fill this customer company information, then scroll all the way down. Let me just slide this. 
now here we have to enter the account name account name simply means the account through which you are going to log in which means your user account so let me here put here like technical spark and password would be confirm password provide the email address once you enter the details enter the contact number extension i don't have any if you want to receive any notification before the maintenance period get expired click on this particular checkbox and then click on continue but i request you guys to make sure that this checkbox is clicked now let me click on continue perfect my account is created now going forward you can manage all your license key from your this particular portal and the url is clp.trainmicro.com if you want to add any new product key click on plus product key enter your license activation code and click on continue but right now i don't have any so cancel so guys i hopefully now you have understood how you can manage your multiple license key using the single uh, customer licensing portal here are few more types company information inner the help knowledge base so these are the best for me now let me sign out don't worry guys i'll provide this link in my video description clothes and guys once you updated your information there again click on update information but right now i don't have any information to update so it's not going to make any difference so as i said there are total two step one is you can manually activate your license key here and using the customer portal and friends very important now when you renew your product okay you are definitely going to receive one new different uh, license key so at that time also you can simply go to the clp.trendmicro.com and enter your new product key and then up click on update information or you can simply click on this view details and here enter new activation code or here is also one more option you can click on this particular option which is enter new activation code and your product will get auto renewed so friends i hope now you have understood how to activate your train micro deep security manager license now your license activation related questions are completely clear if in case you still have any questions queries then please feel free to type in the comment box below i will definitely try to answer each of your comment now friends if you found this video useful then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one Till then, bye-bye.